Okay, the censorship has gone too far. They're censoring everything. When a cartoon gets censored, there could be a variety of reasons as to why. For either controversial imagery or just a nitpick by the network, there are a lot of countries that don't share the same episodes we all see. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, turn notifications on, because this list will leave you shocked. Let's go ahead and go on to number 5. In a Gumball episode titled The Skull, Gumball and Darwin want to stop lying. They stumble upon shock therapy, which is pretty bizarre for a kid's cartoon. In fact, this episode was so insane that it was outright banned in the United States, only airing one time. Then it was over with. The reason for this sudden ban and censorship on the episode was the fact that in the United States, it is illegal to perform shock therapy. So, Americans only had one chance to view this episode before it got taken down. Yikes. Also, another side note is that other countries have banned this episode as well, not just the US. Oh my goodness. What you just saw was a censored version of Sandy Cheeks. She looks like a whole mom here. In Persia, the character Sandy Cheeks has a full dress on, with the exception of when she's wearing her suit. But in other parts of the world, she has a bikini on. This censorship probably has to do with the fact that Sandy Cheeks is a squirrel who is not dressed properly. After viewing this, I can't look at Sandy Cheeks the same ever again. Let's go on to number three. Wandering the region, Ash Ketchum and his pals stumble upon an old man with a gun. A gun! This episode was so heavily censored that it never even made it to the English dub. That's how fast they removed it. But it begs the question, why didn't the United States allow this episode to breathe? They didn't even give it a chance. Was this episode banned because the gun was pointed at a main character? Strangely enough, there's another episode that was not banned which featured guns. The title of the episode, Here Comes the Squirtle Squad. These are ice packs we're gunning. I mean ice guns we're packing. It's Team Rocket. Cool. We're just like those super villains in the comic books except better looking. Farewell. Oh. Cheese and rice, man. These cartoons had no chill back in the day. Moving on to a bonus is Gravity Falls. From the episode titled, Gideon Rises, there's a completely censored scene that many people don't know about. Let's take a moment to look at the censored version. Am I supposed to say, or else what? Yes, you are supposed to say that. No! <laughs> you didn't notice anything missing, huh? Well, take a look at these two bodyguards on the floor. How did they get there? Let's take a look at the uncensored version. No! <laughs> the two bodyguards getting impaled by two gnomes inspired a heavy banning across many countries. It was revealed by the creator of Gravity Falls that there are so many things that were censored in this cartoon, and for terrible reasons. He had to work around so much. So, why did they remove that scene from many countries? Could it have been because of the violence? Number two. Number two has to deal with the character brushing her teeth on the cartoon. Let's take a look at the original scene that aired. I can brush faster than you! Everything seems normal in that clip, but did you know there's actually a deleted scene in this? Lynn Loud was supposed to bleed immensely from her gums in the original storyboard. This scene was never animated. However, a fan took it upon themselves to animate it for us. This is what happens when you brush your gums too hard. They bleed. So what are they trying to teach kids here? That nothing happens? What made the Loud House director remove this clip completely? When there's so much blood in the show already, there's a ton of episodes where Clyde has a bunch of nosebleeds. So blood shouldn't be the issue. But I do understand their perspective because when you take a look at the animatics, it looks very creepy. Number one. Shirataki wanted to teach the Pokemon trainers how to throw shurikens, giving them a lesson on target practice. However, this is the most ludicrous entry on this list. We all know how shurikens are supposed to look like, correct? 
Wow, they're shuriken! Um, Ash, that's not a shuriken. That's a fidget spinner, my friend. <laughs> Overdrive power! Overdrive power! <laughs> United States not only did they censor the shuriken to have soft edges, they also changed the color to pink. And on top of that, the worst offender of all is they changed the sound effects to a soft, bubbly boop. They censored this because they didn't want children to get any ideas of playing around with real life shuriken. But my question at that is what's the point? Isn't this a show where you literally let your Pokemon beat your opponent till they faint? With all that being said, this got me wondering, what does the original Japanese version look like? I had a gut feeling that we were missing out on a truly amazing experience seeing Pokemon characters throw shuriken. So I did my research and I finally found the original version. Let's take a look at that together. Amazing. I wish I could have seen the subbed version without the unnecessary censorship. Because I'm not going to be watching someone throw a Hello Kitty fidget spinner and enjoy it. Pikachu has a shuriken and so does Ash Ketchum. That's so cool. Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you believe in censorships of cartoons? Or do you believe that these cartoons should be free to do whatever it is that they feel they want to do? Do you think some of these bands actually ruined the experience for you? Because you're missing out on something way better? I'd love to see what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Anyway, you guys have a safe rest of your weekend. I will see you guys in the next one. Before we end off this video, I want to let you guys know that I actually wrote a song for you. Yes, Kalobi has written a song for you. All these censorships in these cartoons made me feel some type of way, and I decided to get my pencil out, get a piece of paper, and start writing down lyrics to a song. So let's take a look at a performance of a song about cartoons that have been censored. We all know that we love cartoons, we love these shows, but even though these cartoons might not be perfect, does our love diminish? I know my love doesn't diminish, so let's listen to this awesome song from Tails. Get ready. In three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, cartoon, you can censor all day, but I won't stop loving you. Oh yeah, cartoon, you can censor all day, but I won't stop loving you. It's Friday night, time to kick off my shoes and turn on my TV show. Every time I see your face, there's a thousand reasons why I glow. No matter how many scenes you ban, you can trust that I would never go. It's a no-brainer when I kick off my shoes and turn on my TV show.